Now, speaking of shifting things eastward, that is the reason why we still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for uh, those of you in Minneapolis, as well as Alexandria over in Watertown and all the way down into Sioux City. This is going to be going until about 8 o'clock this morning. Now, later on, we still have that severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect for Duluth, Fargo, as well as Grand Forks. That is going to last till 10 o'clock local time for this morning. So where could we see the potential for some significant wind as well as some uh, damaging potential thunderstorms uh, that will likely end up happening in this pink shaded area that you see right there. So just to the west of Minneapolis, Fargo, as well as Sioux Falls, all could end up seeing some damaging winds as well as some significant hail. And when we talk about hail, I mean, we are talking about two inches in diameter or larger. We would not be surprised to end up seeing some softball sized hail. Here's what the radar looks like right now. So it's quite busy right now. You're seeing some yellow that's popping up there, even a little bit of orange just to the north and west of Minneapolis. And that is an indication that we have some significant rainfall. We do have that severe thunderstorm warning for these counties, and that includes Benton as well as Morrison. Uh, we're seeing some wind speeds in excess of about 70 miles per hour. And anytime you start to get these red, red shades that are popping up there, again, that's an indication that we are seeing some very heavy rain showers, some possible blinding rain showers in places like Little Falls as well as Granite Ledge. So as we put future track into motion, this is going to be later on this morning. We will end up seeing the rain on and off again. Heavy at times for those of you in South Dakota, Rapid City, North Platte, and even Lincoln could end up seeing a little bit of a downpour, but it is going to be later on tonight that those of you in Duluth as well as Minneapolis are going to need to be on alert because at the end of the day, Jane, you know, all it takes is one significant storm. And obviously, you know, we were talking before the show about the potential for some tornadoes. We could potentially end up seeing EF2 or greater tornadoes all because of that wind shear. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.